antenna array is a collection of antennas which are operated in close proximity to one another and designed to work in tandem. It leverages the interference pattern of the fields radiating from the various elements to achieve a desired radiation pattern. It's designed so that the radiated waves encounter constructive interference in directions of desired radiation and destructive interference in other directions. Such antenna arrays are often used to enable tighter directivity than could be achieved with a single element design, and also to enable beam steering, where the direction of the main lobe of radiation may be dynamically adjusted through electronic variation of the input to the various array elements. Antenna arrays consisting of a collection of identical elements are usually characterized in terms of their array factor. The array factor of any given array of identical antenna elements is a product of the number of elements, the relative input signals, magnitude and phase of the various elements, and the geometric arrangement of the elements. In short, the array factor characterizes everything about an antenna array except the antenna elements from which it is formed. The array factor, therefore, does not depend at all on whether you build the array using dipoles or horn antennas or log periodic antennas. Of course, the actual radiated fields do depend on what type of antenna element you use, as well as on the array factor. The total electric field radiated from an antenna array is equal to the product of the array factor, AF, and the electric radiation pattern of a single antenna element located at the origin. Or in other words, the array factor scales the natural radiation pattern of a single antenna element. So, for instance, here is the normalized electric field pattern of a single dipole antenna located at the origin and oriented along the z-axis. And here is the normalized array pattern for an array of two elements with a vertical separation of a quarter wavelength. Since the array pattern is 1 at theta equals 90 degrees in the broad side direction to the array, but is compressed in the z direction, we expect that the total radiation pattern, which is the product of these two fields, will be vertically squished, but otherwise maintain its normal dipole shape. And here is the result of that multiplication. So you can see that the general shape of the radiation remains, but the lobes are narrowed because of that vertical compression. Since the array factor is simply a scaling factor applied to the electric field of its comprising antenna elements, we can isolate the effect of the array factor itself by looking at the radiation from arrays comprised of isotropic radiators, radiators that radiate equally in all directions. So as an example, here is the radiated pattern from a single isotropic radiator. And here is the radiation pattern from two isotropic radiators operating very close to one another and in phase. This still looks like the radiation from a single radiator because there's no appreciable separation between the elements, so there's no interference of the radiated fields. But here's how that radiation pattern changes as the elements move apart, going from one-tenth of a wavelength of separation up to two wavelengths of separation. So you can see that the constructive and destructive interference between the two elements significantly affects the net radiation from this collection of two elements.